Charlie Kubander ready to kick it away for Northwestern. And off we go from Wrigley. Three to run it back, Jackson Anthrop. And a good return. Connell out of the shotgun. Going to let it fly. And initially, a great pass caught by Milton Wright. And the Boilermakers, just what they do right, pass the ball. And on cue, right with a catch. O'Connell feeds the outside and a rare drop from wow. David Bell. Another pass, Bell, quick redemption. Got across the 50. Third and very short. Horvath past the yardage to get, picks up a first down for Purdue. Some substitutions, officials holding up play. That's going to be a constant yeah. theme in this ball game, especially on the eastern side of the field behind Purdue. Horvath gets it around the outside. He's got a lane and brought down by a gang of Wildcats. A strong run from Xander Horvath. Back to pass, O'Connell. He's got a man. Milton Wright again goes out of bounds just outside the 20-yard line. Give it side. Anthem slipped. Fell right around where the shortstop normally plays here at Wrigley. Horvath around the outside. Pass the 15 down to the 13-yard line. Purdue so good in the red zone this year. We've got a 32. O'Connell running out of time. Slips. And they finally blow the play dead. He was trying to get out of the grasp of Trevor Kent. Thirty-seven yard attempt goes wide and left. Big question coming into the game today was who's going to start at quarterback for Pat Fitzgerald. It's Andrew Marty that gets the call and initially a flag on the field. A lot of action going on trying to confuse Purdue's defense. With good reason. Certainly the aspect of Northwestern's offense I would deploy if I could. Offside, defense number five, entered the neutral zone and caused the offensive player to react. Five yard penalty, remains first down. Of course, been a lot of discussion around the Wildcats program from those who cover it, kind of determined which guy would get the start. Plow forward with Evan Hall. Third most catches in the conference for running back Evan Hull. They slip one out to the outside. He's got plenty of room on the sideline. Finally driven out of bounds. Big gain for Hull in the pass game. Do some motion. Short gain as Marvin Grant driving Stefan Robinson out of bounds. Marty to pass in and out of the hands. Because of how frequently they move around George Karloftis, it would be difficult for Northwestern's pass protection. Oh, my, and right on cue there is Karloftis laying the wood on Evan Hall. And that confusion, because the previous snap, He's lined up on the right defensive edge here, left edge coming into the backfield. It should have been a crackback block from Dom D'Antonio, but because of the get off from George Karloftis, D'Antonio couldn't get there. Karloftis made him pay. Derek Adams back to punt it away, and the lefty. Good return by Anthrop. Flag thrown. And now a second flag comes in. Just for emphasis. During the return, illegal block in the back. Return team number eight will penalize half the distance to the goal. First down. Timeout. Jackson Anthrop over to the outside. And brought down after a short gain on first down. Pick up with two. Peter McIntyre, the senior anchor on that linebacking group. 
O'Connell and the Boilermakers had something going on that first drive. Short snap. Still able to get the pass off. Brock Thompson made the catch. And off inside. Six wins overall. Set up the screen. Slipping one. And out across the 50. Andrew Clare. They're really, really good at the screen game. And especially when you have a defense that attacks the backfield in the way that Purdue does. I mean, you saw Branson Dean there with a nice move on the guard. Clare again on the take. Last weekend against Wisconsin, just couldn't get anything going. The bad yeah. turnovers, and of course that Wisconsin defense is just so stout. With Jim Leonard running it. Claire, first down, carry. Plenty of room down the sideline. Pass the 25 still on his feet, pushed out of bounds, just short of the 20. A big gashing play for Northwestern. Go outside. Robinson trying to make a man miss. That is incredible to me. They just filled the dugout with them. Mm -hmm. We thought they'd be some sort of some planks that they'd lay over the top of the yeah, right. just filled it with dirt, packed it down, and put grass in. Call on the carry. And Karloftis <laughs> slings him down. No worry about the ivy and the bricks behind it. They did add some padding about to right center field. Call on the sweep. Game tackle again from Purdue. Very short game. Brings up third down. All right, what do you think? Going out on Sheffield? From 38 yards, that's a long kick. <laughs> Charlie Kubander, he's got, he got the leg. Let's see. Oh, it's blocked. Purdue got their hand on it. It was, was headed for the bleachers. Three not last time for this Purdue offense. O'Connell to air it out. Looking down the middle. An interception, no, incomplete. Far judge coming out at the last moment saying incomplete. Good coverage from the Northwestern defensive secondary. Go outside and a drop, Milton Wright. Trying to avoid a second straight three and out for this offense. Looking for Bell, back shoulder pass and a flag comes in. Defense number two, 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. The talented young corner is Cam Mitchell. We saw Greg Newsom. I called the game last year where Greg Newsom was just traveling with David Bell all throughout the game, every area of the field. That looks like quality defense to me, Cameron Mitchell. I don't know, you know, a lot of folks. I'm sure Twitter's probably going to blaze with makeup call out there because they blew one a couple of snaps ago, I think. But that looked like good defense to me for Mitchell. Oh, hand fighting, that was about it. Horvath trying to get to the outside and brought down by Northwestern. Pickup of three for Purdue. O'Connell going deep down the middle and he overthrew his receiver. Trying to hit Milton right down the middle. O'Connell the bell. Good enough for a first down. Got to the sticks. Put his feet in the ground. Jim O'Neill called it playing baseball on the football field. Man on man. Going up top. Got a wide open man. And Flip is there on the sideline. Makes a man miss. And tripped up just inside the 15 yard line. Late flags come in. Jackson Anthrop on the reception from O'Connell. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 88 will penalize half the distance to the goal. Correction, offense number 88. 15 yard penalty from the end of the play. It'll be first and 10, Purdue. Garrett Mitchell, sophomore tight end. 
And that block right there. O'Connell on the move. And gets Bell for a short gain on first down. Potential last play of the quarter is O'Connell. Look at end zone, flush to the right. Caught and out of bounds, stopping the clock. Run that clock in. First quarter is over. Nothing on the scoreboards. Third down and one. They slip it outside to the tight end. Payne Graham with a catch and a first down for Purdue. From the 13. O'Connell fade to Bell. Bell dropped it. In and out of his hands. Cam Mitchell was there on the coverage. Second and 10. With the Horvath. And he's going to lose a couple. O'Connell looking middle. Broken up. Brandon Joseph got his hand in there. Brings up fourth down. Finneran on for the field goal attempt. Missed his first. That one right through and into the bleachers. <laughs> Northwestern making a switch at quarterback. Ryan Halinski as they run it up the middle. A couple of yards on first down for Northwestern. For over 260 yards in that victory against the Scarlet Knights, facing a third down and seven. Kalinski feeds the middle. Oh, big hit. Going to be short of the first down. A huge hit by Purdue to stop that potential to move the sticks. Marshall Lang just got clobbered. <laughs> Jalen Alexander yeah. waiting. Big play right there. A high school wide receiver. He's packed on a few pounds throughout his career with the Boilers. Turned into an all Big Ten linebacker last year. Adams back to punt again. Three and out for Halinski and the Wildcats. No answer for the field goal from Purdue. Anthrop with a fair catch. Some pressure inside and going down. Addy Tamiwa, Addy Barre comes in with a sack. There is a flag on the far side of the field. The sack may be for not for Northwestern. Holding defense number 11, 10 yard penalty, automatic first down. Pat Fitzgerald less than pleased with the holding call on A.J. Hampton. Middle of the field, David Bell found the soft spot in the zone down to the 35 yard line. A little trickery. O'Connell going to the sideline. Nice play by the offensive player, right? Gets himself in position to make the catch at the five yard line. There is a flag down in the backfield. Holding, offense number 69, 10-yard penalty, repeat first down. They gave it a 30-yard pickup. Fourth penalty on Purdue. They hit right again to the outside. Gets a lot of the penalty yardage back. Takes a nice chunk out of the turf. Go outside, Bell. And brought down 25 yard line. O'Connell feeds the rule. Still on his feet down to the 20. Second and five. O'Connell feeling the pressure. Out to the right. The rule inbound. Flag on the play. They're going to say incomplete pass. Flag came in late, middle of the field. 
you know, I think Doru might have already stepped out of bounds just narrowly before the pass reception took place. Back towards the line of scrimmage again. Mark Plazinski. Initial signal of a hold against Purdue. And a penalty against the Boilermakers yeah. on what's been a really good drive. The performance of the offensive line has ticked up over the past month. And part of that, I think, due to as they went to Aiden O'Connell at quarterback and quickened up the rhythm of the passing game. Took some pressure off the O line and begun to find ways holding. to run the ball more effectively. Offense number 69, 10 yard penalty. Second holding Repeat penalty on second Greg down. Long on this drive. O'Connell looking for his man. Bell overshot him just a bit. Big third down play, O'Connell. The Bell short gain and a flag comes in late. Personal foul, hands to the face. Defense, number five. The penalty is half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Big first down, extended the drive. Anthrop slips one, then gets blasted. Inside look. Slings down just outside the five. Hampton on the tackle. O'Connell sprints right. Running there a trial of time, and he throws it out of bounds. Northwestern with a nice stand there on third and four inside the 10-yard line. Fouled one off to the right side. Avoided the sack. Let's see what you did there. Third field goal try. And Finneran knocks it through. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. My first football game at Liberty City. We used to not have the, the video board in right field until 2015. That was added. Hall with a catch and brought down immediately. Holinsky <laughs> goes up top and it's caught. Malik Washington. They're going to say completed catch initially. Purdue says incomplete. All the way down to the 30 yard line in Northwestern. Going to try and get this ball snapped in a hurry. It's part of why. We've seen some plays like I referenced earlier from the Cats. Players like Malik Washington going up airborne. And look at that. He is only 5'9. Matched up with the DB every bit of six foot three. Malik Washington taking the defender to flight school. For now, 46 yard gain, longest of the day, but will it stand? Taking a number of looks at this. Not sure if there's going to be a view that will definitively say, oh, yep, right at the very end there. You see the ball pop out yep. of the hand, and a nice job of the Purdue yes. defensive player to scrape in there. Right. The ruling on the field stands. First down. <laughs> Offense number 89, five yard penalty, remains first down. Run it away from Karloftis and run into a very stout Boilermaker defense right at the point of attack. Purdue pitching a shutout so far. Holinsky throws to nobody in particular. Still in the pocket. Officials getting together here. This this could be grounding. <laughs> yeah, it certainly looks like it's been. He was starting to feel the pressure, and he would throw through to nobody. He threw to second base. Now, Karloftis is there. He's going to come off the right edge, but he's not one-on-one -on -one with Skaronski. You see there, Marshall There's no Lane foul for intentional grounding. The quarterback was out of the pocket, and the ball crossed the yeah. line of scrimmage. 
third down. So by rule, if they feel the quarterback has left the pocket, then there is no intentional grounding. It looked to me like Ryan Helinski just climbed the pocket vertically. He slightly did end up moving to his left. And, you know, if it's close, they tend to err on the side of QB safety. But, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, that, that was pretty close to me. It still looked like he was in the pocket. They've been bailed out third and 16 from the 36. Might be in four down territory right now the way the wind's blowing here at Wrigley. Helinski inside the hall trying to make a man miss. He's down to the 30 in decision time. Pat Fitzgerald and the Wildcats on fourth down. 47 yards from this spot. That's his long. They're still going to go for it. Helinski and the Wildcats. Fourth and ten. Getting into the hands of Hall, trying to make a man miss. Great stop, Jalen Graham and Kieran Douglas. Horvath on the carry. Flag flies. Personal foul. Chop block. Offense number 75 and 69. 15-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Correction, half the distance to the goal. Penalty number six for Purdue. O'Connell sets up the screen, Horvath. The blocker's in front of him out across the 25. Had some of the penalty yardage back. Good look at the tight end. Garrett Miller made the catch, brings up third down and manageable. A very short one for Purdue. Three for seven so far at third down. They hit right on the outside for a first down for Purdue. Play action pass going up top for right. He's got separation. Milton Wright. Touchdown, Purdue. Had a touchdown last week against Ohio State. This time 53 yards from O'Connell. Fifth touchdown of the year. Finner and puts it through into the top row. Across the 20. Minute 39 and two timeouts for Northwestern. Going up top, Marty. Got a match to find Robinson with a flag coming in late. Pass interference. Defense number 41. The penalty is declined. The result of the play, first down. We're going to move. Oh, Marty flushed down to the pocket. He can run. Slides down just outside the 40 yard line. Safe? Yeah, yeah. right about there. That'd be a perfect save. Right. That's pretty close to second base, actually. Good with that. Under a minute to play in the first half. Set up the screen to Hull. Blockers in front. Hull down the sideline towards the 30. The good gain on second down. Going up top. Not a lot of space on the outside there. Marty slips. Oh. Able to get it out to Robinson, and he's sandwiched. And around the 26-yard line. And a timeout called by Northwestern with 27 seconds left. Hand it off to Hull. Right through the middle of the Purdue defense. Still on his feet, chugging past the 10. But will it stand? Offside. Defense number 15 lined up in the neutral zone. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is. First and goal from the seven. Marty backside, batted away. Mitchell, who has just called for the offsides, bats that one down. Northwestern trying to make it one at the end. They get the second half kick as well. Marty sprints out to the right. Marty trying to take it himself. And they stop the clock with five seconds to go inside the five yard line. Final play of the first half. Marty up top. Touchdown! 
touchdown, Northwestern. Marshall Lang, his third touchdown of the year. Points right at the end of the first half. They'll get the second half kick. Extra point is good. And a slip and a fall. Purdue jumping on it. Do they have possession? An unintended onside catch, uh, kick here from Purdue. And they may have just lucked out with the possession. We've seen some problems with the footing, especially in that area in the middle of the field where the infield at Wrigley normally is. Purdue says they've got it, and they do. Wow. Go down low to Bell. Picks up another catch. Trying to keep him out in front of him. Bell in space. Plows his way near a first down. Out of bounds just outside the 40. Cam Mitchell with the stop. Horvath bullies his way across the 40. And a first down for the Boilermakers. Third most passing attempts and percentage in the nation. Going up top, Bell made a man miss, stays in bounds down the sideline, finally knocked out inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Pretty pass. Play action, go to the outside. Staying on his feet momentarily was Anthrop, and he crawls his way to the 11. A touchdown this week. There's O'Connell. Nobody home there, a flag. Like there was a little confusion on multiple ends there from Purdue. An eligible receiver downfield on the pass. Offense number 53. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. Gus Hartwig, the center. O'Connell looking left. Threw it behind right. Probably a smart miss right there by O'Connell. Safety help coming over from the middle from Northwestern. Third and eight. Going up top right. Touchdown, Purdue. Second touchdown of the game for Milton Wright. Trying to go up 14. Incomplete. They were looking for Jackson Anthrop. Andrew Marty back behind center. First drive for Northwestern. He can keep it himself. Use the athleticism. Chugs past the 40-yard line. There goes Hall breaking through. And good for a first down for Northwestern. Hall again up the middle. Northwestern's had a lot of success running between the guards. Marty, fake left, goes right, pass, caught. Good hands. Malik Washington to hang on to that one. Slipped out of his hands momentarily, able to grasp it. Right there, just as Andrew Marty sees it, defender in his face. Nope. Malik Washington fighting for that football. Marvin Grant nearly got it loose from Washington Get to the 35 yard line. Claire in the backfield. Third and two. Hand to Claire, stays on his feet, pulls forward. This is going to be close. In between yardage. Fourth and a half a yard, Claire still in there. Marty pushes his way forward for first down for Northwestern. Give to Claire up the middle. He's met and dropped. 
One pass on this drive ahead again. Hull flag flies from the far side. Offside. Defense number 93 lined up in the neutral zone. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. Marty going to the outside, trying to push for that first down. Ball pops out late. Looked like Northwestern able to jump back on top of it. Marty. High snap, Marty. Hands to Hull. Moves forward just to the 16 yard line. Hull carrying tacklers inside the five. Here come the big boys pushing forward down to the one yard line. Carrying the pile, a yard short. Once Evan Hall gets ahead of Steve going, man, is he hard to bring down. The legs continue to churn. I mentioned flat back. Not only those offensive linemen from the Cats coming in, watch his home drop that pad level. Continuing to churn away. He smells the end zone. Sniffed out. Purdue packing the line of scrimmage. Give to Hall. Trying to back his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Hull caps a 15 play drive of the score. Extra point good. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans, Rocket Can. There's Jackson Anthrop out across the 25 yard line. 17 rushes, 63 yards for Hull. O'Connell going up top, caught, top, and it is a first down and upended. Welcome back, Payne Durham. Remember, he left the field in the first half, upended there, and down on the play, A.J. Hampton. King Doru made a man miss, gets to the outside, stays on his feet past the 50 yard line. Picked up seven. To the outside, Bell with another catch, his 10th. The up and go, right is open, right again to the end zone, his third touchdown of the game. A great route from Milton Wright, came in with four touchdowns on the season, he's got three this afternoon at Wrigley. Finneran to the back row of the bleachers here at Wrigley Field. I'm disappointed. You really wanted to go out on the Sheffield. Uh, there's no doubt. I want something <laughs> out on the Sheffield so badly on that far side of the end zone. Another slip and a fall. Is it on purpose? That was going on here. You sure hope not. That's the second time in this half. I mean, it worked out really well last time you did it. Marty gets hammered as he crossed the line. Hand off to Claire. Bust through the right side of the line. Brings up a third down and one. First set of downs, first 10, hand off to Hull. There's been one pass attempt for Northwestern in the second half. 12 straight running plays for Northwestern. I don't mind it one bit. Make him stop you. Go back to it with Hall. With Marty leading the way across the 45 yard line. Had success with it here in the second half for Northwestern. Give again to Hull up the middle. Moderate gain on first down. Marty sprints left. Brought down by Dedrick Mackey. Oh, 
And up inside and dropped Lawrence Johnson in on the stop. Fourth Thanksgiving. Big fourth down coming up for Northwestern. Fourth and two, they bring the jumbos in. Marty gonna pass for it. Incomplete. They were trying to go to Stefan Robinson. Jamari Brown in on the stop. Marty just two pass attempts in this second half. Everything else has been a rushing attempt for Northwestern. Play action, O'Connell hits Bell to the outside, slung out of bounds at the 45. Another catch by Bell, his 11th. Mention O'Connell, over 300 yards again. Big third down play, going for the home run right again, caught! Milton Wright driving inside the five yard line. A career high, eight catches now for the junior wide receiver. That's gonna put him over 200 yards receiving in the game. If they can't hit your fastball, keep on throwing. Make them adjust. Aiden O'Connell has seen this one-on-one -on -one matchup with Milton Wright, snap after snap. Regardless if it's been A.J. Hampton or Rod Hurd, they have attacked it. It's paid dividends for the Boyles. From the four-yard line, Doru tried to cut it back up, slipped at shortstop. Boy, Milton Wright having the game of his life here at the friendly confines. O'Connell. Runs out of bounds, loses a couple of yards. 420 yards passing, three scores for O'Connell. Third down goal from the five. Feeling the pressure. A lot of contact, incomplete. No flags, good stand by Northwestern. Big moment for the catch right there. 23 yard attempt for Finneran. Two for three in the game. Three for four now. Purdue go to their backup kicker, Ben Freehill. And Nero runs it out past the 20, up to the 23 yard line. 11.33 to go in the game. Northwestern back to the ground. And Andrew Marty gets pushed down by Jalen Graham. Oh, there's two passing attempts in the second half for Marty. Going to run it. Walker out right in front of him in a nice open field tackle by Jalen Alexander, close to a first down. Third and short. Marty under center. Give to Hull. Pounds through for a first down. Barrels his way forward again, past the 35 yard line. Hole, makes the catch and out across the 40 yard line. Brings up another third down. See, there's the only part of the scoreboard that is out of it. We saw a change. We just well, saw a digital. change. We did a, it, yes, yes, we did at least see that change. So they're a little, they're a little sure. There are times where the scoreboard operator actually calls the pitches before the umpire does. <laughs> And unless you miss the pitch as you're watching it as a fan, right. you cannot actually see the count change. It's incredible. Fastest fingers in America. The proficiency. Mm -hmm. The Wrigley scoreboard. Marty to pass. Trying to slip a tackle out to the 45-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
Give the hole. Bounces to the outside. Big hole. Big gain on first down. Pick up a nine. Hole slips a man. Gets through. Good enough for a first down. There have not been any turnovers in this game. The only one is the inadvertent onside kick to open up the second half. The kicker fell down, hit the young man, and Purdue took over and turned it into a touchdown. Turnovers have really put Northwestern and Purdue and their offenses at a disadvantage over the course of the season, but they've been clean today. So now that Purdue defensively is more near their portion of the sideline, we did see them quickly run a number of players on and off the field. Both teams on the same sideline on the far side here at Wrigley. Marty to pass again. Feels the pressure. He's going to go down. <laughs> Joe Anderson. First sack of the game for Purdue. Second and 12 for Northwestern. Marty to pass. Spins out of it. And brought down. Kydron Jenkins brought Marty down. Coming off that right edge, I talked about the way that they've been able to substitute in and out because they've gotten into the series. It's rushing out of a two-point stance against Peter Skaronski. And again, initially the pass set is fine, but as Andrew Marty tucks it and begins to run away, excellent retrace off the edge by Kydron Jenkins. Sack number four on the season. More pressure. Down again. Three straight sacks. Ball came out. Northwestern jumped on it. But that Purdue defensive line getting hungry in this fourth quarter. That one was the former Northern Illinois commit Jack Sullivan able to get to the corner really quickly. A chance that maybe he grabbed the face mask. The official seemed to believe that it wasn't the face mask. But yes, it was the jersey shoulder pad area towards the front. It's not a horse collar, certainly not a face mask. Marty ends up letting the football go. Sullivan and Branson Dean. Fourth and a mile. And there's Carlactus. Four straight sacks for Purdue's defensive line. Imagine they didn't have a concert here until 2005. Crazy, right? Just a bell to the outside for another catch. Jimmy Buffett was the first concert here at Wrigley Field in 2005. It's multiple concerts. So who else did you see here? So the Foo Fighters. Uh, what do you think about it? Horvath picks up a couple. Bell today, 12 catches, 101 yards. Wright with eight catches and 213. O'Connell better than 423 in the air today. Guru slips one, slips two, and then into the hands. As the ball pops out late, they're going to say Doru was down. 3.30 in that clock churning for Purdue. Ball popped out late there and timeout called by Northwestern. After the turnover on downs, four straight sacks. We give to Jackson Anthrop trying to get the corner. Not going to do it. Coco Azuma with a stop. And force a field goal try potentially from Purdue. Finneran. Kick is good from 38 yards. Fourth field goal of the day. Fair catch called. Mm -hmm. 
Northwestern. One more game to go for them as Ryan Holinsky comes in to play quarterback. It's been Marty almost exclusively in the second half. So many running plays. Marty was sacked four straight times on that last drive. Get into the hands of Stefan Robinson. And moves his way close to the 35 yard line. Robinson makes the catch on third down to move the chains. Going up top, too tall, it's intercepted. Dedrick Mackey on the pick, and he's brought down just on the other side of the 50-yard line, and that'll put the finishing touches on this one for Purdue. Twelfth interception on the season for this Purdue defense, and the third for Mackey. Came in third in the Big Ten in interceptions on the season. The amount of man coverage they play, you don't normally see big interception numbers. You frankly, didn't early in the year. The secondary for the Boilermakers, they've begun to make more and more plays on the ball. Swinging for the fence. That's back. Big hugs for Purdue. Kind of putting a ribbon on what we've seen from Aiden McConnell, too. I mean, over the last three weeks, he's thrown for 1,349 yards and 10 touchdowns. He's been incredible in the efficiency with which he, he has worked. Purdue. With one more game against Indiana next week. Battle for the old Oaken Bucket. And from now, Purdue with an opportunity to pick up this road victory would be their first time since 1943 that they will have four road wins in the same season. Coming into this season, the schedule that the Boilermakers had out in front of them in this Jeff Brown's fifth year, I've talked to him for several seasons about the non-conference schedule that the Boilermakers face and just whether or not he felt like things should perhaps he should back off the throttle with Purdue's non-con, but he learned from Howard Schnellenberger. That was his coach in college at Louisville. And Jeff Brown has been constant in the notion that playing difficult opponents early in the season during the non-conference prepares you for what Purdue's been able to accomplish this year. We've seen multiple wins for the Boilermakers against top five opponents. They took down the Iowa Hawkeyes, took down the Michigan State Spartans. We're seeing now this seventh win of the season. It was a year that folks were not certain whether or not Purdue would be able to achieve at this level, even though the expectation of where the program is at in its development would lead you to think that this should be, you know, a seven, perhaps eight win regular season as possible. But you didn't have an easy non-conference slate just to rack up some sort of an easy 3-0 record. Impressive season we're in the midst of watching for the Northerners. What a fun day here at Wrigley Field. 32-14 yeah. Purdue over Northwestern today. Aiden O'Connell, Milton Wright. Those were the stars in this one. Fourth road victory on the season for Purdue. George Karloftis with a big sack to seal it on the defensive end. A lot of good things from Purdue as they head into the old Oaken Bucket game against Indiana next week. Sprout standing by. Telly Hughes been our man on the street all day long or in the baseball field, and he's got Coach with him. All right, thanks so much, Jeff. Coach, big win, good win for you guys. What were you guys able to do in that second half to kind of pull away from the Wildcats? Well, I was proud that we played hard, and we knew against this team you got to play hard, and you can't turn the ball over, and you've got to be able to stop the run. And uh, we found a way to make some plays in the passing game, especially on a couple double moves that uh, kind of gave us, that, gave us that momentum. And then defense stood up towards the end. But it was a, a tough battle, but our guys played hard, so I was proud of them. Every team will key on David Bell. 
but Milton Wright coming into this game four touchdowns on the season three touchdowns today 213 receiving yards can you just talk about his performance well, I thought it was outstanding you know this is a young man that uh, has to play opposite of David doesn't get as many balls as he'd like and you know what he practices harder than anybody we have on our team he never misses whether he's injured or not he, he goes 100 percent so for him to come out and make these plays when we need him to really happy for him uh, really proud of him and he's a great player. Aiden O'Connell stays hot. You guys have a chance to pick up your eighth win in the final game next week. Just talk about his play over the last three weeks and moving on the rest of the way. Well, he has great poise and uh, he has great command of the offense and really does a good job distributing the ball and uh, plays under control. Like I said, he's a man of, of faith. He cares about uh, everybody on the team and he wants to win. And he's from uh, Chicago, so this is a big game for him. Very proud of him once again. Did a good job in not turning the ball over and making plays. Thanks for your time, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you.